the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will join the rest of the royal family for the extended weekend, reflecting on the 70 years of the Queen's reign. It will be their first official trip back to the UK carrying out engagements with the firm since they jetted off for the US in 2020. It will be the first time their youngest child, Lilibet, will touch down on UK soil and meet the majority of her family as she celebrates her first birthday on Saturday. But ahead of their hotly anticipated return, photographer for The Sun, Arthur Edwards, urged the Duke and Duchess to remember this platinum jubilee is about the Queen, and nobody else. In a personal appeal to the Duke and Duchess, Mr. Edwards wrote, Please, Harry and Meghan, don't let Her Majesty down and, for once, take a back seat. Let the real star of the Jubilee shine. This comes after a source indicated to The Telegraph that the Duke and Duchess would avoid surprise visits across the Jubilee weekend that would pull attention away from the Queen and the main events. Royal journalist and expert Camilla Tomini has previously claimed that any members of the royal family who overshadow the Queen over the Jubilee could risk public anger. She said, I think the main priority for all of the members of the royal family, as it always has been, is going to be the Queen. She added, because actually, regardless of who's in Camp Sussex or Cambridge or no camp at all, nobody is going to ingratiate themselves with the public, both in the UK or overseas, if they overshadow our 96-year-old monarch on the most momentous and historic weekend of her reign. Buckingham Palace announced ahead of the weekend that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not join the rest of the royal family on the palace balcony on Thursday. The Trooping the Colour Parade, which kicks off the Jubilee weekend, will mark the Queen's official birthday. The Queen resolved after careful consideration to limit attendees on the balcony to working royals, a palace spokesperson said. But, the following day, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expected to attend a Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral along with the rest of the royal family. Mr. Edwards wrote, We are looking forward to seeing both of you with other members of the royal family at Friday's service of Thanksgiving in St. Paul's Cathedral. Then for the rest of the bank holiday, join in the fun of this remarkable celebration, but just remember this is not about you, it is about Queen Elizabeth II. It must be hard to accept that neither of you will be on the Buckingham Palace balcony on Thursday for the fly-past of 70 military aircraft. But as you know, the monarch has decided that only working royals will appear.